Hello everyone, welcome to Paul Offshore Fishing. Just wanted to give you another recipe to cook Spanish mackerel. Went out a couple days ago, got more than what we could cook on one day. So the last couple of days I've been putting uh, together some Spanish mackerel recipes from that. Hope you enjoy. This is going to be grilled Parmesan crusted Spanish mackerel. Enjoy. Alright, so I got two fillets off that big Spanish I caught this past weekend. I went ahead and marinated it overnight in zesty Italian dressing. And what I'm going to do is something a little different. I'm going to throw it on the grill, but I'm going to let it cook down a little bit. I'm going to leave it on the tin foil, and then I'm going to put some parm Jean cheese on, and then I'm also going to put some Planko breadcrumbs on it at the end, and that's the gluten free ones, as you can see. But uh, to help carry it out, I got a pan here or a plate here, put some aluminum foil on it. I need to put some cooking spray on it, but I'm gonna carry them out on that so I just slide the tin foil onto the grill. Alright, y'all, don't joke my grill, just a little camp stove. Haven't bit the bullet in upgraded yet uh, since I moved in, and we moved in the new house for a couple of years now so it's on the list just hadn't been that high on a priority like i said we prepped everything on this piece of tin foil if the wind doesn't get me i'm cooking in the garage because it just got done raining and we're going to slide this fillet or these two fillets on the grill here we'll separate them a little bit separate them a little bit let me get it where it's centered I'm going to close it down and just let them cook on, cook down. Now I got a clean plate that I can set off to the side and when I'm ready to take them off, I can put them, the fillets right down on that plate. All right, so we just put the fillets on. I'm going to let them cook for about five minutes, come back and check them. And uh, one of the things I'm trying not to get them too done, but I still want them cooked pretty well. Um, and I'm trying to gauge it where we're putting the Parmesan and the bread comes on before they're done. Fast forward, it's been about five minutes. Yeah, they don't look quite done yet. As you can see, there's a lot of water right there on top of the filet. So we're gonna let them cook down a little bit more. All right, a few more minutes have gone by. Let's check them out. It's getting there. We're gonna go ahead and put the breadcrumbs or uh, the Parmesan cheese on and we'll go ahead and put the breadcrumbs on. But we're gonna just be generous with it as long as the wind doesn't die down. I'll go ahead and put the breadcrumbs on. Now the tin foil is gonna make it a little difficult. And you can see the tails are starting to cook pretty well. Get that back on there. I mean, it's not a bad grill. I mean, it's dual purpose. I can take it camping, I can take it tailgating, and I can cook at it at the house. And it didn't cost me a kidney. So, all right, let's check them. Sorry for the light. I went ahead and shut the garage door so we can, uh, so it doesn't blow it around. But that's what uh, they're kind of looking like. Um, I'm liking them. Looks like the fillets. I got my knife here, just checking to see. Uh, right there, it looks like it's cooking down good. The tail looks good, but it looks like right here in those centers need a little bit more. So we're gonna let them keep cooking. And uh, let's see, like I said, they're, they're close, but they're, they're still not quite done right there on the top. All right, looking at the top, it's not quite, it looks still like mush. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk you off. The bottom is doing, is cooked down good. I'm gonna go ahead inside and throw it in a broiler. I put it in the oven on broiler long enough for the Parmesan cheese to brown out on top and it uh, finished the filet off nicely. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thank you.